Hello everybody, this is Sunday, I believe it's June 5th, and uh, we just finished the installation of our brand new, on the bottom of the pond, aeration system using uh, an air hose that runs from here, about 250 feet, up to the homestead garage where the small rocking piston pump, guaranteed to last tw 5 to 10 years and run 24-7, uh, is pumping away air. Uh, we ripped out the old fountain system, which is consisted mostly of uh, a water hose at the very bottom of the pond, uh, pardon me, up to a floating a little island in the pond, and it just sprayed water up uh, into the air, which is okay, but uh, it got kind of clogged and we didn't have the pump. So instead, uh, we ran, uh, they gave us 400 feet of hose from the company, Easy Pro uh, Pond Aeration Company. And they were very kind to give us extra hose. We only used about half of it. But uh, you can see the fish love it. They're, as soon as it, uh, they got used to it, they started jumping up and down. Pond is a little bit low right now, uh, but we're expecting some possible heavy rains here that will fill it up uh, maybe a foot or so. So we just uh, put it at the lowest possible point, which is about seven feet deep at that point. And you can see the little uh, orange bobber there. Karen had the foresight to attach that so we could actually know where the heck the pond aeration system is. Basically it consists of a heavy plate uh, with a disc that sits on the top of it through which air is forced from the uh, garage about 250 feet away and it's forced through a whole series of tens of thousands of micro holes that uh, provide micro air uh, or aeration into the pond and they say in about three days it will cycle, or more, or pardon me, three days or fewer, it will cycle uh, about a hundred and some thousand gallons of water. And it adds to uh, clarification. We also added uh, an anti-algicide uh, to the pond and a slight colorant, so it'll do its work and hopefully they will turn that nice uh, river blue color. But it's absolutely silent since we don't have the pump here. Uh, we actually could not even hear the pump last night uh, while we slept. Uh, it was in the garage, but uh, it uh, just is an amazing job. Believe it or not, the half-inch inside diameter air hose that they give you produces an air stream. If you hold it up to, your, uh, to a candle, you would swear it wasn't, wasn't powerful enough to blow out a candle flame. Yet when you put it onto this air diffuser, and it pumps all that air through a tiny, tiny tubes, this is what you get. And uh, it's got a nice boiling effect, a roiling effect, I think they call it. But uh, you can see it sitting right there. And it constantly just keeps churning the water from the bottom of the pond, which is where you really want to get that muck out of there. And it pushes the, uh, the water to the surface, and it circulates it from the surface down to the sides, to the bottom, back up to the surface and it's this constant circular motion that really makes a difference in the pond. Uh, people have stated that they put this in their ponds and in three days the water had turned a completely different color, that nice dark greenish, dark bluish. Um, and with the herbicide that we added, or pardon me, algicide, uh, it should really make a big difference. But uh, you can see, I'll show you, show you right here is the heavy weighted air hose that they give you. That's just a little section of it right there. And it will not float. It goes right to the bottom and is extremely thick and very flexible. So it should uh, last uh, 10, 15 years, if not longer, if not permanently. And then we sim simply, as you can see, dug a small trench. I think that's getting in there. And you can almost barely see the trench. It's only two inches deep and two inches wide. We use a single mattock and then the, the uh, hose terminates right here where I'll tack it up a little bit nicer I just didn't have time and it goes all the way back straight 250 feet into that jungle and oh my gosh what a jungle it is but uh, we were able to snake it through that flora and did find a vine that I think uh, the devil himself produced because uh, devil himself produced because you really couldn't even uh, touch it and it just stuck to you. So there's where the uh, pipe is 
It's only about two inches below the surface. It doesn't need to get any deeper in case you had to pull it out. You don't want to break it. But uh, it'll give you a nice idea of the pond. And that white pipe that you see there, we are going to take out. That is a pipe that actually, I think it still maybe works. There's a little buoy on the bottom, or a flotation device. And if the pond ever gets above that level, the flotation device triggers an electrical circuit that shuts off uh, any pond filling. And that, uh, right behind that big palm, is where the uh, outlet is for the artesian well that actually can fill the pond. Uh, just masses of water comes uh, out of the artesian well, and it fills it uh, uh, about six inches every hour. That's how quickly it'll fill. But uh, so far, so good. So this is the new pond. It's been totally reclamated now, and we'll just let nature take its course and see what happens. And uh, luckily the greenery has come back, and we'll show you over here. Uh, Karen used the yellow kayak to... Uh, take the pond aeration disc uh, or plate as they call it and she paddled over there tied a nice line to keep it centered because it's a sand filled base that fills with water and sinks to the bottom it ain't ever coming up unless we pull it up it's got like three clamps on the bottom so we just grab the hose and yank it comes right out but uh, anyhow that's the uh, porch as you can see and there's a little garage uh, storage area right behind that door and that's where we'll keep the pond algae side, the colorant um, and any equipment that we need strictly at the pond and I'll walk you through it again and there you go so the pond it's not done but uh, the pond will now start healing itself and it's amazing how quickly uh, I added the colorant and in about three hours time it completely dissipated. The brown went away. It's starting to turn that nice dark bluish green. And by the time I come back next week, it should be fine. Fish are already starting to jump out uh, in the area of the pond aeration. And I think they're going to like it. From what I understand, they love the air bubbles. So, there you go. All done.